What's going on, folks? This is your Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you. Of course, your personification of greatness when it comes to wrestling talk here on YouTube.com with the IWC and the YWC. So, um, oh man, this is more uh, news when it comes to this uh, whole CM Punk, Ace Steel, Tony Khan drama that I'm giving you guys on a Saturday. Which, by the way, um, it is raining up here. Meh, but anyway, so let's go back and talk about Thursday. Um, I talked about this, and you can watch this in a prior video in the archives here. Uh, there was reports that AEW had rehired A Steel earlier this year as the company was gearing up for CM Punk's return that was going to concede with the debut of. AEW Collision. So, in the Wrestling Observer newsletter yesterday, uh, Dave Meltzer mentioned several times that Steele's return as a producer was denied to him by multiple sources. And there had been rumblings for a few weeks that he returned or was going to return to help produce Collision. However, he was told by people at the top that it was false. Now, since being the only person to be fired following Brawl Out, Steele has remained a free agent and was um, recently there were talks with him, um, with him going to Impact Wrestling. Now, it was also reported by other outlets that Tony Khan was allowing Steele to return remotely to work on the creative side. And there was a belief at one point. That Steel would physically return to be backstage at shows. When Punk returned for Collision. Which would likely cause, cause issues with some people. Now Meltzer noted that some higher ups in AEW were unaware of A Steel coming back to the company. Uh, some key talents found out within the last couple of weeks, and they were shocked. Now, here's the thing about this. We all know that the first episode of AEW Collision, uh, it is being rumored that it's going to be take, taking place at the United Center in Chicago. Now, um, I was actually, uh, it's kind of funny that I talk about that because they were there's another report out there by Dave Meltzer, if you do believe in Meltzer, that the plan B is to have a collision, the first episode, at Daly's Place in Jacksonville. So, the location is going to be revealed this Wednesday on AEW Dynamite. So, um, that is the report that is being talked about right now, so, so AEW is saying that he was not hired, they're denying it, so, my question is, why did Punk and the Collision debut fall through, if it wasn't because of the fact that, um, A Steel is not with the company? That you're denying that he was hired. And I'm questioning why he was brought back in the first place. Because when you look at this whole situation that happened with Brawl Out. He was easily the most expandable guy in that entire situation. And if they did bring him back. They brought him back for CM Punk only. Because you want to make CM Punk happy. And why are you catering to CM Punk? Because isn't that a bad look for AEW? I mean, Eric Bischoff, I mean, I disagree with Eric Bischoff on a lot of things. We all know that. But, dude. Eric Bischoff even said it. That this guy, CM Punk, is starting to become worse than what Hulk Hogan was when Hogan was with WCW. I don't know, man. Um, I 
this CM Punk situation, man, it's just like, it's getting crazier and crazier by the day. Um, I want to try to get into some of your questions here um, when it comes to wrestling. But anyways, I mean, uh, what is your thoughts on this, guys? You know, comment down below. I'm out. Peace.